Okay, so this is James Synth, and this is James Synth and TWC Jim, the Weather Channel Weather Scan Remastered. Track 33. This is the last track of the main Weather Channel Weather Scan Collection. Now, as you noticed in this one, I've actually done a remix of that of this track named Afternoon Sights, the track from Master Universe 20 Years of Valor, Chapter 2, The Nostalgia and Courage of the True Journey. Link in the description. Now, as you can see, we're going to use every last concept all of the concepts we've used for the past episodes like also an imager jack joseph puig panning the stereo answer the haz effect and all the other deals that will make this remaster the ultimate remaster to make this the end of the journey. Thank you all who joined. Now, I'll remove the silence already. Now let's get into the last track once and for all. Now I've already removed the silence and, and I already know the BPM is around 85. So, And we have already have the rules here. If there are multiple instruments in the all instrument section, they deserve to have the ozone A imager. If there is a solo instrument like a voice synth or a guitar or a piano playing solo, then we'll use Fruity Stereo Enhancer for the Haas effect. Now, this is track 33. Okay, let's get into the remaster. You think it's a fair, simple rock track, just like track 30 and all the other ones, right? Wrong. Now we always do the same way with all the other all instruments stems of this series. And that is the Fat Filter Pro Q2. And we're also going to use a Serenancer. answer. Sennheiser Amio Orbit will also be present in this, but it'll be off camera this time since I don't want it to cause, you know, CPU intensity. I was having automation for the Stereo and answer. And then the pan will also be present in there. Then we're going to use the ozone imager. Make sure the stereo rise function is on with the band 4 with 80. 
with the band two with 80. Band three with 80. Band four, 84. And drag these to the area we need. Because it's not just that. And then we also need band one to be around 22. Let's hear it without the possible, the Syrian answer. Okay, this section, bar 17 and 18, only has the voice sim. So, let's, let's do stereo enhancing. Okay, that one only has the voice synth, and it's solo, so let's just do panning. Sorry about that. Let's pan it to the left. 20, around 20 might do. Now we're not gonna do like a curve up back to 50 of the drum group because I'll need this all to be in mono. That's why it's called the remastering series because we're here to only think stereo. For the imaging tools, I'm using, I'm using the Stereo Enhancer, the Ozone Imager, and the DTS Neuro Up Mix mono to stereo section, in which we haven't even gotten into yet in the series. More prevalent in the Removed Weather Scan playlist, the early tracks. Again, as the stereo enhancer and panning are off, the ozone is on. The ozone imager is on. And when the imager is off, stereo enhancer and panning are on. I'm not going to do a panning for this curve right here. I'm not going to have a curve for this panning as it builds up to the drum groove. I'm only going to have it for the Ozone Imager. And I'm also going to pan the vocal to the right too. This has multiple instruments here. This has multiple instruments here. Modulation.
But we're not going to stop here. We're also going to use the Sennheiser Ambial Orbit as another addition to the remaster. Okay, so for the Sennheiser Ambial Orbit, turn off the reflections first. And the clarity should be way up. The width up as well. Turn the azimuth to around 20. Just some fairly simple changes in the ambial orbit. Since I don't need it CPU intensive, I'm going to disable it. I'm just going to disable it for a while, but you'll hear it more in the true version. Now, I mentioned that I'm going to use DTS Neural Mono to Stereo. And let's go. This is DTS Neural Mono to Stereo. Okay, so for the Mono to Stereo, I'm only going to increase the stereo width only up to like 0 0.8. So you're probably thinking, so you're thinking, but Synth, you already have the stereo and answer and those on the imager in Sennheiser Amiot Orbit. Why do you need a DTS Neuro Mono to Stereo? Why? Because you already know for a fact it's another part of the remaster. And second, the fruity stereo and answer is only used in certain parts of the track. The Ozone Imager and Sennheiser Amiot Orbit is mostly the same and they're working together. The Ozone Imager is here to widen more of the sound. The DTS Neural might have left out and the Sennheiser Ambio Orbit is to just widen the sound to a room, even more to a room, like a virtual 8D audio. Let's hear the effect for just the DTS Neural. And here's the difference between DTS, Ozone Imager, and the Sennheiser Ambial Orbit. The point I'm making here is that this widens the stereo not only for a short time, but you can he also hear more of the panning section as well. Stereo can also be widened as well. That's just another point on remastering. Okay, so for the Jack Joseph Puig drums, I only did the preset punch kick. The Fruity Parametric EQ and the Ozone 8 Imager, it's just the usual work. For the vocal, it's panned as well, as you can see here, with a little bit of almost Ozone 8 Imager. And now, for all the valor here, this is the last track. This is track 33. Thank you for joining Jamsynth and TWC Gym, the Weather Channel Weather Scan Remastered, the remastering tutorial series. However, so this journey doesn't end here. Coming up in a few weeks, I will remaster the early Weather Scan tracks. Only two are by Jack Mascari. Here's the ultimate valor.
I will also include the Weather Channel Storm Alert Theme 2006 Remastered. Thank you for joining this amazing series through other channel, Weather Scary Master. This is James Seth. Shalom.